Let me just uh, sit down here. Ah, there we are. How's it going? Welcome to uh, this edition of Sean McLean's video blog. Yes, in case you haven't noticed, I've decided to become a walking billboard for talk, uh, talking to, for, the, for two guys on an effects box. And, um, yeah, so this is actually one of the t-shirts that you can buy right now in, uh, in our web store, which is pretty cool. There's a couple different ones. Actually, well, there's basically two different t-shirts in a variety of different t-shirt types. So, yeah. Just wanted to come on here, give you a little update. Uh, even though not much has happened in the past few days. <clears throat> I think it's been about five days since my last vlog. So this week I was, uh, well, once again working on the album. And, uh also doing uh, a project for my stepsister. It was her and her boyfriend's four-year anniversary this month, and she wanted to do something kind of special for him. So what she did was she collected together a whole bunch of photos of spanning the entire spectrum of their relationship from basically, literally, the day they met. She has a bunch of pictures from the day they met, all the way up to uh, just a couple weeks ago. Think. So anyway, she wanted to put put them all together into a slideshow and didn't know how to do it, so that's where her video savvy stepbrother comes in. So you want to see it? No, of course you don't. Now I know there's a lot of people out there who really like to do video slideshows and such. And granted, it does make for a more interesting way to look at pictures, I guess, sort of. But I, I'm not a big fan of them myself. I mean, they're really easy to put together. You just basically do a bunch of, you know, sequence a bunch of pictures and put a bunch of dissolves in, in between each one and then set it to music. Pretty simple. Um, I just don't find them that exciting to watch. <laughs> so, I like my video to move. It's all about the motion. Moving pictures. I guess I'll just do that popular jump cut thing to cut out the long pauses of brain deadedness. Um, one thing I've been doing while I've been working on uh, on the uh, Two Guys in an Effects Box album is uh, letting a select few people hear sort of the works in progress for the various uh, new tracks. Uh, so of course Ben has got to listen to them because he's in them. <laughs> And I've also been uh, playing some of them for, well, for Annetta, obviously, my girlfriend, because she lives here. And my brother Cass. Move that. Now, Cass also does some composition himself. Uh, we both use the same uh, tracker software, and editing software. I sent him MP3 versions of some of the works in progress for the album. And um, he hasn't done any composition for a while, so he actually did... Uh, it, I guess it inspired him to get off his duff and do some music again. So he put together a nice little ripping techno song, which he then sent to me for some uh, some basic remixing. At this point, he hasn't actually heard my remix of it, because um, the version he sent me was made using an older tracker program format which doesn't have as many options as the one that I use. It's the same program, but the same program is able to to do songs in two different formats. So he's been using the older format because um, it's the same as one that we used to use several years ago, um, which at the time was fine, but now things have moved on and you know this new format is a lot better. So basically this new program can recognize the old format. So he's still doing them in the old format because that's what he knows. So I keep saying, Cass, use the new format, because it gives you a lot more options. So basically what I did was, I said, you know what, send me the original file, like the actual work file for the uh, song, and I'll do a quick remix of it using some of the new format options. And, uh, yeah, so basically to show him just how much better his stuff can be if he does it with the, uh, the, new, uh, the, the new way to do it. So anyway, he hasn't heard the remix yet, um, 
it didn't take me long to do. Basically, all the elements were there. I just had to sort of do a lot of stereo phasing and such to, to punch it up a bit. Because the original song was pretty much all mono. And, uh, you know, anyway, it just it, it needed to be in stereo, I thought. So basically, I just went and remixed the whole thing. And he hasn't heard it yet, so I'll let you know what his reaction is, if, uh, if you care. Okay, for those of you who don't read the bulletins, I have a challenge for you. I actually put this challenge forward in a... Noisy neighbors. I put this challenge out in the form of a bulletin a few days ago, but so far I haven't had any responses, so I can only assume that most of my regular viewers don't read the bulletins. <laughs> or that there's a lot of people on my subscriber who subscribe to my videos who aren't on my friends list, so they don't actually see the bulletins. So, I'm going to put the challenge out in the form of a video. It's very simple. You may recall a while ago I put up a video blog um, all about how to pronounce my username, which I'm not going to say in this video blog, because the challenge is pronounce my username. Just do a short video of you trying to say my username. Simple as that. Basically just a bit of fun. I thought it would be kind of funny to, to sort of see how people think it's pronounced. Now, if you go searching through my videos for that video blog on how to pronounce it, you will find that it has been disabled, so no cheating. Basically, at this point in time, I have a bunch of clips of people pronouncing it or mispronouncing it already from, you know, about a month or two ago. But I thought it would be great if I could get a whole bunch of clips, and then I'll do, like, a compilation video of the best and worst. Because, I don't know, personally, I I've always found it really funny seeing how people pronounce or try to pronounce or just don't even try to pronounce <laughs> or just don't get it even close um, my username don't get it even close my username I talk grammar good English speaking okay um, so that's basically the challenge just make a little video of yourself trying to pronounce my username you can see it on the page and uh, just let me know that you've done it so that I can uh, grab it and, and put it put a clip or two from it into the uh, compilation. As an added incentive, I'll even do a specially composed Two Guys in an Effects Box music track for it. So an exclusive Two Guys music track for the video. So you yourself can be in a Two Guys in an Effects Box music video of a sort. Oh, what the hell? It's just, it's a bit of fun. Just try it, do it, it'll take you like two seconds to do and then uh, you can see yourself in a goofy video of people trying to pronounce a uh, stupidly complicated full of syllables username and there you go so <clears throat> I don't know what else is really going on right now basically it's just been the album the slideshow and not much else um, oh I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow it's actually the first time I've been to a doctor in about five years. So, yeah, both my brother and I are actually going to the doctor. He hasn't been in about five years either. So, you know, maybe uh, tomorrow or the next day I'll come on and tell you how many terminal diseases I've picked up in the meantime. Uh, it's always a little stressful going to the doctor after not having gone for so long because you just have this sinking feeling like he's going to find all these things wrong with you. Now, I know that I'm not in the greatest of health, but I don't feel overly unhealthy, so what I expect will happen is basically he'll say my cholesterol and blood pressure is a little high. That's what I'm thinking. And I have to have a couple of organs removed. But other than that, I'm sure I'll be fine. So I guess that's it for me for now. So make those videos, try to pronounce my username, if you can. Um, don't worry about it, don't try too hard. If it's wrong, if it's right, either way, I just need clips from the video. <laughs> Alright? Okay, so until next time, thanks for watching, and sayonara.